At the dawn of the gold rush in Western North America, Helena was one of the giants. It soon became one of the wealthiest cities in America. But gold wasn't everything. Not too far from Helena, another gold camp had just discovered something hiding under the soil that would change Montana history forever. Copper. The economic impacts of this discovery were unclear at the time, but with its increasingly high demand, this abundance of copper ore would soon earn this area a new name. A name that spoke volumes of its ever-needed contribution to the entire world. The richest hill on Earth. First established in 1864 as a gold mining camp on the Continental Divide, Butte quickly boomed, especially with the discovery of copper. It soon became Montana's very first industrial city and one of the largest copper boom towns in the American West. But this came at a cost. Throughout the early 20th century, this expected demand from the world would put Butte's economy at a standstill and risk the lives of workers in the mines. It was only a matter of time before tragedy would strike. But before we dive into how the mining culture shaped the city we know today, let's discover why valuable earth metals were so extremely abundant in these mountains. Present-day Butte lies on the southwestern side of a geological formation ideal for creating rich vein deposits. A gigantic mass of granite, called the Boulder Batholith. In the late Cretaceous period, volcanic activity shaped the geography of the Boulder Batholith, causing a process called hydrothermal vein activity, which led to massive ore deposits of lead, zinc, silver, gold, and copper. This is the very same reason that Helena's last chance gulch, which sits on the northern side of the Batholith, had prosperous amounts of gold. But the Boulder Batholith has much more to offer than riches and kings. One look at this odd recreation area, and you may think nothing of it. But when you come a little closer, you could hear something astonishing. The Ringing Rocks lie 15 miles east of Butte in a remote area of the Batholith. Even most native Montanans have never even heard of this formation. With the strike of a hammer, these boulders resonate a wide array of notes, tones, and volumes, much likened to bells and glockenspiels. Even more curious is the fact that no one knows exactly why these rocks do this, though it is theorized that the composition and stacking of the boulders has a lot to do with it. And if one wanted to steal a boulder to ring at home, they would be out of luck, because once a boulder is removed from the pile, it will no longer ring. This lesser-known oddity of the Batholith was most likely saved by the history books, which would become super-saturated in the legacy and pride of a quickly developing boomtown. Downtown Butte is visibly and officially rich in history. The Butte Historic District is the largest national historic landmark district in the United States and includes over 6,000 historic buildings and structures. The housing district alone is impressive. It would be hard to walk a block of the city without seeing a metallic sign describing the significance of a particular building. History aside, the glorious Victorian-style architecture 
is absolutely frozen in time, giving us a glimpse into a time long past. In the 1860s, the expanding mining industry here attracted many Asian and European immigrants, specifically the Irish. It is no coincidence that these main streets are home to nearly a dozen bars and taverns. One bar in particular is perhaps more recognizable than any other. The M&M Bar and Cigar Store had been around nearly as long as Butte itself has stood. In the early 1890s, two men named Martin and Mosby built it as a pool building and saloon. The doors were always unlocked and it was a home to many locals who had come here to simply hang out. In the 90s, it closed down, but it was bought by a man named Bud Walker and it reopened in 2005. It had become a tourist destination and was covered wall to wall with tidbits of history. Unfortunately, on May 7th, 2021, the M&M bar tragically went up in flames completely destroying a building that stood there for over a century. Even at this great loss, the community will always remember the M&M bar, and it will likely live on in the history books. All thanks to the prideful people of Butte. Many immigrants were untrained in hard rock mining, but were ready to work wherever they could. If they weren't ready to go below the surface, they would be put to work making houses for the busy miners and their families, or providing services such as food and drink, clothing and goods. This iconic upbringing may correlate directly to the modern city's pride and communal feel. Traditionally, everyone has a job that so plainly works together to benefit all citizens of Butte. Many communities in Montana feel this closeness, but Butte defines it. This trait is extremely important, especially in times of tragedy. On June 8th, 1917, deep below the Earth's surface, a new fire line was being installed. When it fell and became damaged, a foreman holding a lamp accidentally sparked the oily surface of the cable. Within minutes, the timbers and shaft were ablaze, leading to the worst disaster in hard rock mining history. 168 men from 26 nations died in the inescapable horror. What is even worse is that most of them died by asphyxiation, a long and terrible way to suffer all alone in the dark, hot ground. Notes written by the miners trapped below detail the last horrors and final thoughts of these unfortunate souls. The last words of Manus Duggan gives visitors to this memorial a chilling and heartbreaking experience as they realize the risks these men took to help their families in the land of the free. The silver lining in this tragedy is the change that it brought about, with unions finally earning a triumph over corporate. The Anaconda Copper Company, the owner of the mines in Butte, was forced to establish safe working conditions as a top priority amid one of history's most influential industrial strikes. Tragedy after tragedy, Butte always rebuilds itself, whether physically or emotionally. Community is at the heart of that healing. For example, just days after the M&M bar burned down, serious conversations amongst the owners and other officials about rebuilding it were already underway. And by the end of May 2021, $30,000 had been raised to aid the immense and complete restoration process. And the overseer of Butte, Our Lady of the Rockies, was built by community efforts following a miraculous turn in a single resident's brutal battle with cancer. Montana is a community of loving and caring people. And Butte was one of the most important seeds for growing a culture of neighborly conduct and togetherness. The richest hill on earth may harbor billions of dollars of precious metals, but it is far more rich in regrowth and community. <laughs>